Merry Christmas everyone. Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the books and Christmas gifts I've been given this Christmas. It's the I just want to put a disclaimer in that I'm not showing you these because I want to show off. I'm showing these because me, I personally, I love these sort of videos. I'm so interested in these sort of videos and yeah. So I thought it would just be nice for you guys to see what I got. So that's why I made this video. It is actually Christmas Day when I'm filming this. Because so I want to get this up tomorrow, Boxing Day, for you guys. So I thought I'd go through it. So I've got quite a lot of books from people on BookTok. And also my friends that I met on BookTok. And one of my friends actually gave me an advent calendar. The other friend gave me a hamper. And then I've got all of the other gifts from friends and family. So I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I kind of just get everything here. I may start off with the hamper from my like the stuff from my friends and family and then go into the book stuff because there is a lot of books and a few F1 bits so I'll share that with you. But let me start off with this thing here so I can get it out of the way. First thing is what my auntie got me. Now these are ski pants because I needed new ski pants. My ski pants I've got are a size 12 and they've been almost not fit to me for the last few years and then COVID hit. So yeah, and I needed some new ones and she very kindly kindly bought me these ones. They're Gore-Tex spider ones called, and they're the winner range. Um, they're for curvy people so they actually fit me really, really well. And then this gorgeous colour and yeah, she went, what do you want for Christmas? And I went, nothing like I need to get you something and I went well I need and then we're on about ski pants so she very kindly bought me these ones that I've been looking at so thank you she doesn't watch these videos but you know the next is from my parents I ordered this for myself and then my mum went you can have that for Christmas so that's how that happened it is from this lovely company called Johnny Loves Rosie and it is a bag which is kind of a dupe of Kate Spade. I went into um, Cheshire Rokes and I fell in love with the Kate Spade bag. My sis told me about this brand that do dupes. So this is the original strap, which is actually a black one. But I thought I'll keep the black from for like nights out. And then I can use this beautiful strap, which is just black and white for more like days out. And you can actually put it on your shoulder like this. Um, I can make it longer. This strap is like really easy to lengthen and stuff. Um, I just keep it sharp currently. Um, but yeah, I got this for a really good deal. Um, so I got this and I'm really, really happy because it's just simple. It's vegan as well and it'll go with everything. And I needed a new one. So I got that. And then I have a look. I have like everything in a box down here. The one thing I did ask for from my parents was this. This looks really boring. It is an organizer for all of my wires. So I could put all my wires in and um, have everything in one place for when I'm traveling. Because that is annoying in itself when you have all your wires everywhere. Um, then I actually bought these and my sister forgot to give them to me. So she put them in my Christmas stuff. Um, these are the lightweight Dot Martin socks. I've got a pair of Dot Martins I got last year, couldn't wear them at all. And I was like, I need to break them in. And so I so I tried these because I got recommended them. And they're so good. And now I can wear my Dot Martins. So I have two pairs, so I don't have to keep washing the one pair I've got. I can wear like Dot Martins twice in a row with these socks. So really good. For my sister, I got Nespresso pods. Um, she got me the Starbucks ones because these are basically all my family drink of the Starbucks ones. So these are the holiday blend limited edition ones. These are so good to make a latte. And also the Cafe Veronica ones, which are an intensity of 10. Uh, my mum nicks my blonde ones because she drinks coffee black, but me and my dad like these ones. The blonde ones are beautiful as well, so I'm so happy. Then for my niece and nephew, I got a Harry Potter mug, which will probably go into the van. So I've got a mug there, that's my own. And also this Exfoliant, which is a Frank Body 
exfoliant um like an espresso coffee one because apparently coffee's supposed to be really good i'd never do anything like this so this is kind of interesting and i also got these few nail varnishes which are the essie nail varnishes in the pink one is just grow, grow with it and the other and the like green color is belief in yourself and i think they're really cute i really like the colors as you can tell i like i've just started wearing nail varnish again please ignore the chipness i was opening presents and my nails were just chipped um so i think these are really really cute i did ask for nail polish because i want to try and get more into it i bite my nails i do this so when i wear nail polish i don't bite them um so yeah i've got these and i can't wait to wear them i might test these out this weekend and for my sister's grandma i got some lindor chocolates so I'm happy with that. These are so good. From my parents, I got treated, massively treated. So I got these, which are the Harry Potter, um, the Royal Mint, um, Harry Potter exclusive celebrating 25 years of magic, um, 50p coins. So this one, I haven't opened them yet. And it's like, it's got Harry Potter on it. And then this one, which has got the train on. And I think they're beautiful. You can't spend them or anything, they're just collector's editions, but they're the Jim K illustrated ones. Sorry, I'm still getting off my flu from last week. Um, the Jim K ones, which match the illustrated books that I'm collecting of them. And so they're beautiful and I, they're going with the collection. I also got from my parents, which I am well and truly spoiled. And I did not expect from them at all. I was actually going to treat myself to these for my 21st. I got a pair of AirPods. I had a pair of fake AirPods that I spent 20 quid on and they were great. Uh, and then they broke within like a couple of months. And I went to my mum's like, I really want a pair of AirPods because I hate wearing overhead headphones when walking around. I wear them like indoors or in uni, but like walking around, no. Um, and I wear wires most of the time, like obviously trying to like do things and have wires. It's a bit more difficult, but it's fine. And so they treated me to some AirPods. I'm not taking them out of the case. I'll use them yet because I'm waiting for my case that I ordered today to come. Because mum didn't realise that you can have like a protective case for the case of the AirPods, which uh, a lot of people don't do. But I want to do because I don't want to break them or anything. I want these to last because I don't have to spend the money again. And I'm in love. These are the second gen ones and they're just beautiful. I don't like the pro ones. Um, but these are just, I'm in love. I actually, like, this is how, oh God, this is how much I haven't opened them yet. They are still in the plastic. I'm waiting for Tuesday because that's when the case will come on Amazon, even though it's on Prime, but you know, it's a bank colony. So yeah, I'm so excited. Like, I am legit so excited for them. And then my parents got me a card and in the card it is, um, I'm sorry, I haven't got a clue. For me, my mum, me, mum and dad to go to. It's my dad's favourite um, Radio 4 show. And it is, uh, I really enjoy it and my mum enjoys it. So we're all going to go see that in Halifax, which I'm actually so excited for. It is so funny. It's like an old people thing. Most people think Radio 4 is. But actually, that show, hilarious. It is so funny. And it's great. And to go with the Harry Potter theme, mum's uh, colleague in work drew me this my room it's her art style and it's just a little painting of them all in second year um harry potter which i think is really really cute because it's got like ron with the bucky that he puts slugs into and yeah it's really funny really funny how short harry actually is because daniel radcliffe is only five seven he is a short guy so yeah that's this and it's so cute and i this is gonna get hung up on my room and it's so cute so that's all the stuff from my family and friends. I got well and truly spoiled this Christmas. Like, I did not expect half of this. I definitely did not expect these. And I think these are like my favourite presents. <laughs> so, I have been spoiled. A little fizz break. Now, we're on to the gifts from my other friends. So... Let me start with everything in this basket and then I can take things out. Oh, I forgot. My parents also got me Tony's gingerbread chocolate. 
because this is the best chocolate. If you've not had Tony's, you need to. Tony's is superior. Now, from my friends, I got from Kerith a Cassian. Oh my god. I got a Cassian, a Cassian um, candle. I can't actually burn candles in my house, but this is so cute. And this is going to go on my bookshelf if I have room. My bookshelf is um, it's going to be packed. And then she also got us this cup and this was a in our christmas eve bag so in it it's got some socks some fluffy socks and this gingerbread cup which is so cute i'm gonna make hot chocolate in it tonight a hot chocolate sachet and marshmallows i'm gonna make myself hot chocolate tonight and i'm so excited it's gonna be so peaceful read my book have some hot chocolate it's gonna be so lovely and i cannot wait she also got some bath salts which I've never used bath salts before, but I'm quite excited to see what they're like. Um, but yeah, so some bath salts. Um, these are fragrant cherry, peach, strawberry, and coconut. Ooh. So I can't wait to try these out. A sheet mask for some pamper time. So when I'm reading or in my bath, I can pamper myself. And she got me the simple one because I have sensitive skin. Um, I don't usually use these sort of things because of my sensitive skin. So she's got me this one. So it'll be okay for my skin, which is very, very kind of her. She also got another mug, which had some socks in. And it says, create your own sunshine. And basically she put together this box that has books in it and like bits and bobs so that when we're like relaxing or we're going to have a Sunday like restart, um, as it's, we always like, on a weekend like sit and read together and be on FaceTime that we can all have like a cup of tea or a hot chocolate or whatever and um like just chill and read and stuff and on that note she actually got me um some coffee bags because I'm lactose intolerant um she went around trying to find me dairy free like coffee sachets which is hard like it's so hard i just deal with it but i don't tend to drink them often but she was so kind so she actually got me these bags which is taylor of harrogate uh coffee bags and she got me two sets she got me the rich italian which is roast four and flying start which is roast five these are so good we as a family use these all the time when we're like traveling places or going to work because so it's literally coffee fresh coffee in a bag you put it in your cup you add a bit of milk to it I add lactose free milk obviously and you have a perfect coffee and they are so good and they're so delicious and these I'm just these are so good I bet you anything my mum will nick these off me and I will not have seen them because they're her favourite she also got me this hand cream and nail file which is so cute I love the packaging of these and I need a nail file so I'm very happy with these this is in the flavour. What scent is this? It doesn't say. But it smells delicious. She also got us, as on the theme of day of like snacks and like reading and stuff, she made us like this jar. Um, me and Danny got a few things of the same um, for that reason. And it is just filled with chocolate. And it's so super, 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 duper cute. And it means that we can like refill these on the days with like the sweets and stuff that we want to eat. And it's so cute. That's everything she got me apart from books. I am now going to go on to the books. Um, I'm Oh, before I go on to the books, Carrie's also got me chocolate. So she got me free from reindeer and some vegan mint and cocoa nib chocolate. I've already opened this and this is delicious. And I bet this will be as well. She's gone above and beyond by buying me vegan chocolate. Like I did not expect it in the slightest. Um, and I feel just so grateful. So I'm going to tidy what's up around me and then I'll get on to the book. Now I can go on to the other bits and bobs. So my friend Danny actually made me an advent calendar like I said. And in it were like a few bits and bobs as well as lots of books because she went above and beyond herself. Um, a few bits like the chocolate I've already eaten. 
and I fully cannot remember everything because it's been since the start of the month. So if you go onto my Insta my TikTok, which is linked down below, you'll be able to see everything that she's got to me so far. But I've got all the books here and the bits and bobs that were downstairs with me. So one of them was this Max Verstappen keychain. So we both already have one of these and we both actually gave to each other the exact same one apart from hers as Jean Leclerc in the same design, which I think is really funny. I already got one of these. I've got one of these on my got a Daniel Ricardo blue one um and yeah these are currently on my car keys and my other ones are on my house keys but yeah she got me this and I love it so much she also got me a keychain which was um Hufflepuff I put it somewhere in that box and I don't know where I put it um she's also made me a few like charms on the says Daniel Ricardo on it I want some uh, friendship bracelets I haven't actually started wearing these yet because in work i'm not allowed to but as soon as i finish work i'll be wearing these all the time so that's them and then she also got me some bookmarks which i'm in love with because it's really hard trying to find penelope douglas bookmarks and she's done it and i don't know how um so the first one is punk 57 which is my all-time favorite book and this has actually been published punk 57 so i'm going to treat myself to that in february i think time for the published punk 57 so she got me Punk 57 and she's also got me Devil's Night, which I actually need to finish the series. I've got one more book left. She's the last one. But it's kind of a bit intimidating because it's so big. But yeah, this is a punk this is a Devil's Night one. Um and it's like a ticket for the cove, the adventure cove. Um so I'm very excited about these. And I can't wait when I get the read because I'm gonna annotate the Punk 57. Um, and I am so excited. Now on to the books. This is the book selection and I'll let you know who got me which. So I'll go with Danny's pile first because it's right in front of me. So they started off with the kiss quotation by Helen Hong. Hong. I'm really excited to read this. This is actually mentioned in Icebreaker, this book. Well, a description of it and everyone's like, that's the kiss quotation. So I'm really excited to read this. I wanted to read this for ages and I finally got it. So I'm so excited. She then gave me Until I Met You by Amber Rose Gill. Uh, Amber Rose was actually on Love Island and she wrote this book and it seems really good. It seems like a summer read and the, the message Danny gave me when she gave me this was so cute. Um, but I am so excited to do it. I've actually kept the quote in front because it's really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to read this. I never thought of reading it. Like I looked and I was like, I was written by someone from Love Island. But actually looking at the blurb, it looks really good. So I'm very excited. Oh no. Then she got me Realm Breaker by Victoria Avergaard. I've got the Red Queen series upstairs and I don't know if I like her right style, but this look beautiful and it's a YA um fantasy and I want to try and get more into fantasy so I thought I'd give this a go and hopefully it's not complicated like adult fantasy is because that's why mainly I don't read adult fantasy. But yeah, this looks really good and it's sprayed edges and it's stunning. It looks so good and I, I am so excited to read this. She then gave me a brush with Love by Maisie Eddings. I've been wanting to read this since it came out. And it looks really good and everyone at BookTok says it's amazing. So of course, I'm so excited. To be honest, many books I have from Headline are good. So I cannot wait to read this. And it just looks fantastic. It kind of gives me Love Hypothesis vibes, but with a dentist instead. She then also got me another fantasy book, which is Hunt, We Hunt the Flame. Um, I've not heard much about this, apart from a book talk. The writing, oh my God, the writing is tiny in it. But I've heard a few good things, but I, it's not really been on my radar. So I cannot wait to go and blind with this book. Also, the cover is stunning. Um, I've read the back and it actually sounds really, really good. So I cannot wait to get into this. I am ecstatic. On to the last two books. This is the two books I got to open today. And the first one is still on there by Sophie Lark. Um, this is the special illustrated edition. Um, and it is stunning. I've already read this book. I've got the first one, which is Brutal Print. I bought it when it came out. I was like... I need this in my life because like it's like, the illustrated version and then Danny got me Stolen Air which I'm so happy about. I cannot wait to reread this series. Um, I was reading it on Kindle Unlimited and then I just stopped reading it because I don't read on my Kindle often unless I'm away 
And so when the illustrated versions with discrete covers came out, I was like, I'm going to start reading these now. And she got me it so I can start the series again. And I cannot wait because this is actually my favourite one out of the series. And yeah, I mean, the illustrations in this book are just spectacular. And then she got me Heartbones by Colin Hoover um, for Christmas. She actually sent me this from Amazon because I was too skint to buy it at the time which is so thankful for that she sent it me because this is actually going to get a new cover and it's going to be normal size but the new cover ain't it the new cover ain't it it's an awful cover and this cover is so much nicer so she very kind about this this is her favorite Colin Hoover book so I cannot wait to read it apparently there's not much trauma in it which is what we like we don't like trauma uh, well we do but not a lot so I cannot wait to read this and we're all gonna read this I think but he read it because Paris has got it now Danny's already read it but half the time Danny's already read the books that we're gonna buddy read anyway so I cannot wait to read this um I've been on and off with Colin Hoover recently but I feel like this is gonna be one of the Colin Hoover books I'm like yes um with so thank you Danny for all them books I am so excited to read all of them and obviously you'll be getting my thoughts because we FaceTime nearly all the time so you know now let's go on to the book that my sister bought me uh which is kingdom of the cursed um by kira mas Manis minisco i don't know how to say her last name this is the second one the first one is kingdom of the wicked uh i put this on my wish list and i forgot to take it off after i couldn't finish the first book so i'm gonna have to pursue that one because now apparently if you read the first one this was really really good but you just have to get through the first one so i just need to now go into my brain and force myself to uh, get through the first one so I can read this one. I may have to listen to it on an audiobook. I may get it on Libby so that I can read it. But yeah, this looks really, really good. I've read the back and it looks incredible. Hopefully the writing style isn't confusing because in the first book, I'm confused. I was up to chapter seven. I was like, I'm so confused. But this looks amazing and I cannot wait to read it. And just the cover and everything. It's just it's beautiful. Then let's go to another book. So... Amy sent me this. We were on, I was on a live on TikTok and I was saying how much like she is obsessed with Sophie Lark. She's one of the reasons I've read Sophie Lark, Amy, on TikTok and she very kindly got me Savage Lover. Danny must have messaged her and saying, I've got her the second one because the second one's her favourite book and I was on about how I want to like buy them all and have all the illustrated ones so I can read them. And so she very kindly bought me the third one. My mum packaged it up for me. And it's so, yeah, this is the one I actually haven't read yet. So I'm really, really excited to carry this on. And I cannot wait. Also, can we just appreciate how floppy these books are? Um, but they're stunning. And all of the books are going to look so beautiful together. They're in the same style. And I'm so excited to read this. Um, they're all about, like, the same brothers. Um, and, like, the same families. But, like, different situations. And I'm just so excited. I am ecstatic. Uh, the next book I got was Broken Bond by Jay Bree, which is actually from my friend Heather. She um, was gifting a few people for Christmas and she very kindly gifted me this book, which looks incredible. Um, I've heard a lot of things on Book Talk and this book is just stunning. Like, it is beautiful. And the illustrations in this, like, come on. They are beautiful. I don't know why traditionally published books don't do stuff like this more often. Like all of the ones that aren't traditionally published are beautiful on the inside, but traditionally published ones aren't, and I don't know why. But this is just beautiful, and I cannot wait to get reading this. It seems amazing. I've heard amazing things about it. So thank you so much, Heather. The next two are actually ones I won in a giveaway, um, but I just thought I'd share them on here because they're technically Christmas presents, mm -hmm. but technically I won a giveaway. Sorry, that was my mum's phone. So the first book I'm actually currently reading, which is a very a merry little a, mi a merry little meet cute by Julie Murphy and Siona Sion. I've heard mixed bag about this. Like I post a video and two people all said they DNF'd it, but I'm almost 100 pages in and it's all right. It's not the greatest book in the world, but it's all right. So this is currently my read and hopefully I finish it soon because it's Christmassy and uh, Christmas is all almost over. I've been working too much to be able to read books, but yeah, this looks so good and I'm 
I'm semi enjoying it. And then the other one is Maggie's Maggie on the Move by Lucy Scott. I haven't read anything by Lucy Scott. But I've now got two books by her. And this just looks amazing. And it's got a YouTube star in it. This girl right here. So that makes me even more happy. Um, but this just looks amazing. And I very kindly got gifted this because I won the giveaway. And I am super duper excited to read this. Um, this was actually going to be one of the ones I was going to go grab from the works. But I never did. But yeah, this looks amazing. And I've heard amazing things about Lucy's car. So I'm really happy about that. Now, these ones are all from Karis now. Um... So she got us Christmas books for us all to read together. However, for the last like two nights, I've been mean, falling asleep about eight o'clock, so we've not been able to do it. So the first one was the wedding, the Christmas wedding guest, um, by Susan Mallory. Both of them two have read it and say it's really confusing, so I've not picked this up yet. But I'm gonna go into it at some point. I might save it for next Christmas these books actually. And then there's the Christmas wishes and the chocolate shop. Um, all three of us got the same books because we're going to buddy read them together but kind of Christmas has got in the way um, so yeah so this is the next one and that is by Jessica Reese Redland and these are all from the works by the way and then the next one is this one which is six stories in one and it's a Christmas document and other stories so there's six others in it by Katie Floyd and it asks this looks really good because that's Charlotte Reese might read some tonight if any of us are free but i don't know if we are so yeah these are the three christmas books that Kerry's got us and i am actually quite excited to read them we might save them for next year um <clears throat> i feel like i'm losing my voice because i'm talking hey ho never mind then the next one is Kerry's favorite book which is the girls i've been um she got us this in august but never actually sent it so she sent it over for christmas and because we're going to reread everyone's favourite books. So we've read the Akatar series. Um, everyone's read Punk 57, which is my favourite one. Still it's our turn to read Carice's and it's The Girls I've Been. So I'm very excited to read this. It is a YA book and apparently it's incredible. So that's really good. And then she very kindly got me three other books for Christmas, which she didn't have to. Which is Chris and Callahan Make It Sweet, which I'm very excited about as well got hockey in it i think from what i can see an ex-hockey player so this seems really good and i'm really really excited i need to find out if this is the first or the second one or if i can read it like by itself because i know there's two of them but this just looks so good and the cover is just stunning so i cannot wait to read this and yeah this just looks so good then she got me killjoy by holly jackson which is a little novella it was written for um world book day originally which is really really cool and this is the fourth like mini thing to go along with the trilogy of a girl um a good girl's guide to murder which me and carrie absolutely love and this i'm very excited just to like have a, like a quick read off because this seems so good and then the final books are these hollow vows um by lexi rehand i just really like the cover of this and it's another fantasy book i'm trying to get more into fantasy um because I read so much romance and mafia books and all that sort of jazz, so you know. Um, but yeah, this is the book. And look at the cover. The cover is just absolutely stunning. So I cannot wait to get started and read this. Um, this is another YA book, I believe. Um, so it's really good. Thank you, everyone who bought me gifts. I am completely and utterly grateful for every single one of you in my life, and I cannot wait to have more adventures with everyone who very kindly bought me presents in this video in 2023 and yeah i hope everyone got what they wanted for christmas and if you like, did like it please go and give it a thumbs up comment down below what you got for christmas or what your favorite christmas gift is i would love to know and especially if you're a bookworm what books did you get and please do go subscribe because we are almost at six that 600 of you guys which is mental go follow me on my tiktok as well Everything is linked in the bio downstairs. If you're a bookworm, then definitely go check out my TikTok. Or if you're an F1 fan, I do post quite a bit of F1 on there as well because I'm massively into F1 now. Books and F1 are my two addictions. Um, so yeah, please do carry on watching the channel in the future. Also, please go check out any more of my videos that are on here. There is loads of stuff from student videos to YouTube videos that are about books to food videos on here from the past. There's a whole range of things. So yeah, please go check them out. 
and I'll see you next time in my next video which will be in the new year because I'm having a break whilst I'm away on holiday for my dad's birthday and I'll be back strong as ever in the new year so I'll see you guys then.